For those who regularly travel by air, the design of aircraft wings has likely stirred your curiosity at some point. Many aircraft have an added element at their wingtips, which adds a certain flair to the overall design. They can look quite similar to a fish's fins or tail. You may have even noticed the varying designs, with some pointing upward and others resembling the shape of an egg. This element of the aircraft is known as a winglet. Simply put, a winglet is a structure attached to a wing, with its main purpose being to reduce the wingtip vortex, a type of aerodynamic drag formed by the pressure difference between the upper and lower wing surfaces while the aircraft is in motion. Let's break down this complex term. To understand the role of winglets, it's necessary to understand why they're added to the wing in the first place. Wings are designed based on a principle of fluid dynamics known as Bernoulli's principle, which explains the relationship between the speed and pressure of a fluid. When an aircraft moves, the airflow branches out at the frontmost edge of the wing. The wing's angle against the aircraft's body allows the bottom surface of the wing to experience higher air pressure than the top surface. This difference in pressure creates lift, facilitating the aircraft's ability to rise. As fluid properties dictate, air will flow from a high pressure to a low pressure area. Consequently, air shifts from the wing's high pressure underside to the low pressure surface over the wingtip, creating what's known as a vortex. The vortex, though visually intriguing, leads to significant drag that impedes performance, fuel efficiency, and the speed of the aircraft. It can also cause stability issues and may result in emergencies for aircraft using the same route. Furthermore, the resulting drag demands excessive fuel usage, leading to increased emissions of CO2, noise, and other pollutants. Two potential solutions were proposed to counteract the vortex issue. The first was to design infinitely long wings, ensuring total separation of airflow above and beneath the wings, which would prevent vortex formation. However, the practicality of this infinite proposition was called into question. The alternate and far more viable solution involved introducing a structural element, a winglet, to create separation between the two differential pressure regions. The term winglet was first used by Richard Whitcomb to describe this ingenious design solution. Since their successful inception in the 1980s, winglets have been incorporated into the designs of countless aircraft. They have even been retrofitted onto older models post-production. Winglets significantly reduce drag, improve fuel efficiency, cut carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide emissions, and decrease noise pollution. Airlines also benefit from winglets because they can cut operational costs, thanks to reduced fuel consumption and lower airport landing fees. The concept of winglets has even found applicability in the age-old pastime of paper plane making. A slight upward bend at the wingtips can increase flight distance. This isn't a tricky tactic, just the application of science. Interestingly, the idea of aids to diminish the effects of wingtip vortices emerged in 1897 when British engineer Frederick W. Lanchester suggested the use of wing end plates. His idea was certainly ahead of its time, as it was conceived six years before the Wright brothers initiated the first powered flight in 1903.